What is up? Today, I'm diving into the ultimate surf showdown. I'm here to figure out who's nailing the crowd game harder, Malibu or Doheny. For this episode, I'll be covering the Malibu Lagoon State Beach portion of Malibu, which includes first, second, and third point. I'll kick things off by comparing the beach scene from both. Malibu is legendary. Celebrities, movie sets, beautiful people, and some great waves. It's like Hollywood meets the ocean, while Doheny is like a camping family surf reunion. Malibu is a famous tourist destination, attracting visitors from all around the world, seeking to experience the glamorous beach lifestyle. In contrast, Doheny is home to one of California's most popular camping grounds, which attracts 850,000 people per year. And you'll find most of them flocking to the beach once the sun comes out. There is exactly 1.23 million people surfing at the moment. In Malibu, you'll find a variety of humans spanning from hippies to yuppies. Malibu isn't known for beach volleyball or barbecues, but rather simply hanging out in the sand with a group of friends telling stories about how much better it used to be when Dora patrolled the lineup. Doheny's gentle waves and shallow areas near the shore make it super family friendly. Doheny also has picnic and barbecue areas, making it the ideal place for a family day at the beach. Yes, the sand is packed with humans, but they all share a vacation type attitude, relaxed and casual. Doheny's got that family reunion vibe and the beachy fun, while Malibu offers a touch of stardom and spiritual surf moments. Here's where things get crazy. Let's jump into both lineups and compare the crowds and what you can expect. Both feature beautiful waves. Wait a second, is that a line for the waves or a cue for an amusement park ride? All right, let's investigate. Both are generally known as a longboard type wave. Although second and third point Malibu features a more shortboard friendly wave. Normal surf etiquette is thrown aside at both spots. It's not uncommon to see a pack of humans all paddling for the same wave and eventually surfing that same wave. Now Malibu is a better and more consistent wave. It's an iconic point break, which means longer rides with bigger payoffs. Although those longer rides also equate to more chances of people dropping in on you. In comparison, the waves at Doheny are much gentler. slow rolling mountains of water are perfect for beginners. I consider these waves at Doheny to be the best in California for learning how to surf. Which leads me to the type of surfers you're going to find at both. Due to the incredibly long rides at Malibu, you'll often find the world's best longboarders there, bobbing and weaving through the crowd. Mm -hmm. 
Doheny's Gentle Waves are the main reason you'll find more beginners here than at any other beach in California. Beginners don't bob and weave, they simply go straight. This is where the biggest difference comes in, mindset. I compare Doheny to a community pool. You go to a community pool knowing it's gonna be super crowded and you're probably gonna be swimming in pee, but you're there to hang out with friends and enjoy being outside. Your mindset as you step foot into the overchlorinated bathtub is to forget everything else going on and simply have fun. Yeah, there's 867 other people surfing the same wave as you, but it simply doesn't matter. It's a different type of surfing than what you and I are used to. Malibu is different. The mindset at Malibu is similar to that of someone getting out of the 405 at 5 p.m. after a long day at work. Why are all these people in my way? I'm gonna kill that guy for cutting into my lane. Generally, the surfers at Malibu have some experience surfing. And they're past the mental state of simply having fun going straight on a wave and not caring how many other people are on it with you. The better we get at surfing, the more we wanna build speed down the wave without having to worry about someone dangerously dropping in on us. The verdict? Well, both spots are unique in their own ways. The waves at Doheny are geared towards the beginner, the younger beginner. Whereas at Malibu, it's more of a scene. It's more of a destination place to say that you've surfed it. Both are like a surf festival with beach blankets, barbecues, and a ton of on-sand activities. It's not just about the surf, it's about the whole experience. Surfers at these spots generally don't show up just to paddle out. They're going for more than waves and spend as much time hanging out on the sand as they do riding waves. Thanks for joining this surf showdown. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and ride the subscribe wave for more surfing adventures. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson and I'll see you on the sand.